From firing gunshots out of a Brooklyn house into residential streets, and from a rooftop into buildings, <laughs> to loading guns on the subway, Brooklyn's district attorney and some of NYPD's top cops say these 21 alleged gang members terrorized the streets of Brooklyn with drugs, guns, and gang crimes and are even connected to two murders, including a 15-year-old Rohan Levy, an innocent bystander who was killed back in 2017. It was a group of young gang members who were ready, willing, and able to use firearms to attack rival gang members and commit other violent crimes. At a news conference in Brooklyn Tuesday morning, District Attorney Eric Gonzalez said many of the suspects from Operation One Nation are part of the Folk Nation street gang. The group is part of a 65-count indictment where charges include murder, attempted murder, armed robbery, and weapons possession. There is no mystery here. It's gangs and it's guns, and it's a deadly combination. The gang takedown was part of a nearly three-year-long investigation. Investigators say as they continue to work to end senseless gang violence, some of the most dangerous people in Brooklyn are now off the streets. I believe that this takedown will have a measurable um, impact on safety in the communities of Flatbush, East Flatbush, and Canarsie, and will continue to allow people to actually enjoy their summer without the fear of random gun violence. It's a good day for the people of Brooklyn. That's my takeaway from this. And the Brooklyn DA says 19 of those alleged gang members were arraigned last week. Their ages range from 17 to 41 years old. Now, some of them are facing as little as probation. Others are facing 25 years to life in prison. In downtown Brooklyn, Jennifer Bisram, PIX11 News.